Hey, JT Smith here. And today I'm going to show you a technique that I used for my website to track all of the outbound clicks that occur without having to go into each link individually on my website. So now I can look in analytics and see a full report of every outbound link that people click. And uh, using that report, I can then make all the important decisions about what pages to focus on, what links to try to get converted into affiliate links, uh, and, and all the related things that come from having all that good data. So the reason I need to do this, and you can find all the context on my channel if you need, is that I bought a website off of Flippa that is a forum community website called earnthatbuck.com. Now, I'm not advertising earnthatbuck.com in this video because it's probably not something you're interested in, but a lot of people are interested in it. And so there's a lot of people that have posted, in fact, there are, let's see, 8,000 messages on this forum site. And so with all those messages, there are a lot of external links that people are clicking on. And I don't know how many of them are affiliate links for, for other people, not for me, or how many links are getting clicked, you know, hundreds of times a month that I could be making money off of, but I'm not. So it's important for me to install this method. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. If you don't have a Google Tag Manager account, you'll need to set one up by going to tagmanager.google.com and you can create a container for your website. And then in that container, you create what are called tags, uh, which have triggers that make the tags fire. And then you can use what are called variables to pull elements from your website and put them into your tags. So this is a useful tool, not only for uh, what I'm talking about today as a method, but also any other like weird data related thing you want to do with your website, it, you could probably find a way to do it with Google Tag Manager. So you want to go into Google Tag Manager and find the code that it tells you to install. So here's the installation code. And I already installed it on my website. If you have WordPress, you can find a Google Tag tool or like a Google site tool that'll allow you to install Tag Manager on it without knowing how to code or anything. If you have another website, you'll probably need to open up whatever file it is that uh, runs your HTML and find a way to put Google Tag Manager into the header and into the body of your website. You'll also need a Google Analytics uh, account, and then you'll get what's called a ID, an analytics ID um, that you can then use in Tag Manager. Here's what we do in Tag Manager. First of all, you'll want to go to variables and you'll want to create a Google Analytics settings. So we'll click here and create stop. Hey Google, stop. <laughs> so we'll go and we'll create a Google Analytics setting in the variable tab right here, you click that, and then you put in your Google account ID from your analytics account, right into the tracking ID. And that's all you need to do with this variable. Then you'll go to built-in variables, click configure, and click, click URL is the most important one. And then I also include click text. We will go to triggers, then you name it, and then you can click here and go to click on links that way you're not getting every time someone clicks anywhere on your website it's anytime someone clicks a link and i do all link clicks what you can try to filter out uh people clicking on links internal to your website but you can also filter that in your google analytics report which is probably a little more helpful that way you don't accidentally mess up your tag or or miss any links in the future just in case you do want that data so uh, that's what I'm doing. Some link clicks or actually all link clicks. And then you save that. Then you go to tags. And first of all, you'll want to make yourself a Google analytics tag. And you'll, so you'll create the tag, tag type, Google analytics, universal analytics, track type page view. And then you throw in your Google analytics setting and you put firing trigger, all pages. Then we'll create the tag that allows you to track the outbound links. So you'll go to outbound, click event. Let me actually just show you how to do this from scratch because it's important. Tag configuration, click Google Analytics, Universal Analytics, track type event, 
And now we get to put in our variables. So category, I'm gonna put out, not outbound, I'm gonna put click. And then I'm put for action, I'm actually gonna put the click URL. And then for the label, I'm gonna put the click text. And then you'll wanna make sure you have your Google Analytics settings selected. And then for triggers, we'll use the trigger we created earlier, any click and go ahead and click save. We'll name this uh, clicks. Now we should be able to submit this report and you can add a description if you want. If you're on a team, you'll probably wanna do that, but I don't have a team here, so I'm just gonna click save and continue. So now let's go back to Google Analytics and you'll probably come on a page that looks like this right here. And what we'll wanna do is click real time events. Okay, so now we're in our Google Analytics real-time events tab, and we can click on a post on our website and check to see what happened. So first of all, by clicking into the post, I got a click probably about to pop up here any second now. That'll say that I clicked on that link. Yep, there it is. So um, that's the click for me clicking into that link. Again, when I'm doing reporting, I will filter out clicks on uh, earnthatbuck.com. So then I'll go here and I'll click this call to action. And it'll say, uh, you can ignore this website. And this is what happens. I get the click category is click. Event action is the actual link that I clicked. URL it went to. And now if I uh, go in deeper, I can see the label that happened to make this click occur. So in order to create a report that filters out those internal clicks, I can go to behavior, and then top events, and then I clicked on this event, event action dimension. And now I can go to advanced uh, filters, event action. So exclude event action containing my website, earnthatbuck.com. I can apply that filter. And then I can look at today's data and see if anything pops up. So yeah, so here's what we got. We got, these are the clicks that have occurred um, that were tracked on the website. So the ones that are not URLs were from an earlier tag, but this is the one in question that shows the URL uh, that people clicked on. So now I can go in here and sort by these URLs and find what URLs I'm, I'm getting clicks through that are not affiliate links that I should try to affiliate myself. So this technique will help me a lot, especially when I'm making future videos and trying to prove to myself uh, how much revenue this website's making that I invested in from flippa.com. So hopefully uh, you also get good results from using this method and you're able to then more accurately determine where you're gonna work on next on your website. If you enjoyed, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the notification bell. That'll help me uh, grow my channel and it'll help you find more marketing content in the future. So I'll see you next video.